Two decades ago, he stood alone, a solitary voice of dissent that brought down the Meech Lake Constitutional Accord. That voice was silenced today. Elijah Harper has died at the age of 64. The CBC's Cameron McIntosh has this look back at an iconic Aboriginal leader. That we Aboriginal people. He stood for inclusion and played a defining role in Canadian history. Today, Elijah Harper is being remembered as a defender of Aboriginal interests and human rights. Elijah is one of our great leaders of our time and uh, a man of uh, strength and conviction and uh, one of our heroes. Harper first came to prominence in the 80s when he became an NDP MLA and cabinet minister in Manitoba. Elijah Harper, minister without portfolio response. The first Aboriginal to take a seat in the Manitoba legislature. In 1990, his actions would be felt nationwide. Well, I hope you have a nice day. Meech Lake, Brian Mulroney's self-described roll of the dice to get Quebec's signature on the Constitution required ratification by all the provinces. In Manitoba, it needed the unanimous consent of all MLAs. We had the eyes of Canada on us. Speaker, Premier Gary Philman could only watch as Harper, clutching an eagle feather, refused to support it. Is the will of the House to sit beyond 1230? No, no, there is no leave. Killing the deal over a lack of consultation with Aboriginal people. I believe it's about time that you allow the Aboriginal people to be heard. Philman calls it one of the most significant political acts in Manitoba history. He'll be remembered for having brought Aboriginal issues to a much higher profile and to a much more important status in Canada. That eagle feather image empowered and remains iconic to an entire generation of Aboriginal Canadians. Well, without Elijah Harper, there's no idol no more um, because he is the forerunner to that movement. He had a huge impact not only on myself but all leaders, young leaders of today. Harper also served one term as a federal Liberal MP. After losing his seat in 1997, he stayed out of the limelight, but remained influential in the Aboriginal community, winning many awards for his advocacy. His family says he died of cardiac failure due to complications from diabetes. Elijah Harper was 64 years old. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.